Hello, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Mengs, and I welcome you guys back to Let's Play Civilization V as Sephiel of Burn. So, right now, we are kind of gearing up for war with Roy. He's expecting it. Look at this guy. He has his pikemen at the borders. And uh, I took a little bit of a look at the map, and I realized that we should probably get a navy up, because both Laos and Ostia are very exposed from uh, attack from the sea. My Vyverns are actually gonna have some difficulties right here, because Roy's got pikemen, and his terrain is very open. The Vyvern Lords favor rough terrain, because they can fly over it, whereas in the open, they're kind of weak, because they're just basically slower knights. So, I should probably make the transition into focusing more on my navy. I should probably bring this trireme back, to be fair. I don't think there's much I'm going to discover up here, so I'm actually gonna send this trireme back. Oh, wait, I need open borders to do that. Well, fuck that, then I'm just gonna keep exploring. Um, I need to get my trade routes up, and I need to protect my trade routes. Now, my trade routes will run out with Roy in four and five turns. Now, while, while we're gearing up right here, I think I'm going to turn on quick movement, just to speed up the turns a little bit. There's not much movement going on right now, it's sort of just a showdown where two armies are facing off against each other. But Roy is definitely expecting an attack right here, you can see. You can see that he's definitely expecting it. Now, I think, uh, did I denounce, uh, did I denounce Roy last part? I'm not sure if I did, but I think I'm going to do that right now. Just so you know, I have faith in the bond between us, now can I help? Now, I want to denounce Roy because I want to make it public that I'm going up against him. Maybe some of the other leaders will denounce him as well, if I do this. So we're actually going to denounce him. I have a feeling I was wasting my time with you, little did I know it would come to this, however. <laughs> uh, the idea is to have Narshan join me. My talent, as you know, are unparalleled. Perhaps you wish to learn a thing or two from me, Narshan? God, I know, I love how he ends every single sentence with Narshan. So, yeah, I'm going. Basically, I'm denouncing Roy to, like, make everyone aware of my intent. If you denounce someone before you declare war on them, it lowers your warmongering penalty a little bit. I've decided it's a good idea to befriend the leader of Akanaya. Hee <laughs> hee. Erica with her fucking giggling. So, well, well, perhaps you are not as witless as I has once taken you to be. After all, you did announce those fools over in Lysia in my name. Perhaps you are worthy of my attention after all. Look at that. Narshan likes us because we're denouncing Roy. That means that Narshan does not like Roy. And here comes Roy with the denunciation. Relationships are breaking down. Okay, so I think uh, as fun as this ironworks is, what we want right now is I think we want a harbor. And then we want to start to... We can build cargo ships in other cities. We can always actually trade with uh, Marth if we want to. That might not be such a bad idea. So maybe we should get a caravan strip, man. We have a lot of things we want to do right now. But I think, uh, yeah. If we go... Uh, we should probably work the workshop. Burn is not growing anyway. And once we have this... Pro I don't think we have time to build the ironworks, to be fair. Uh, and after this, we should get some galley asses up because we need a navy if we wanna if we wanna do anything here. We're getting 11 gold per turn right now. I would ideally like to have a little bit more. So, <laughs> Gangrel wants open borders. I cannot stand the pest known as Lysia. In fact, I've just informed the rest of the world that they are nothing but a plague upon this world. It seems you have followed in my footsteps. <laughs> ah, the alliance with Narshan. Oh. Oh, we killed the spies it was trying to steal from us. That's not good. Even death does not stop my ambition. Glad to hear there are others in the world which shares my disgust with Lysia. They're clearly not to be trusted. Okay, Mikaya does not like Lysia. And Marth wants to declare war on Gangrel. But I am not interested in that war. I want Marth to... Ooh, Sarah de Potosi. I want Marth to declare war on Roy, but it doesn't seem like... I think Roy's a little bit too strong. Nobody seems interested in declaring war on the guy right now. Also, I don't like these barbarians. I want to take them down, so I'm going to send my crossbowmen down here to take them down. I share your conviction that Lysia only causes problems. Oh, nice. Ev everyone hates Roy now. That's great. <laughs> ah, you are too well vexed by Lysia. Since you have taken the step of calling them out, I shall do the same. Hopefully this means I don't have to alter my plans to deal with them more directly. So basically, if you denounce a leader, other leaders might be encouraged to do the same thing. Oh my god, Leon also denounced Roy. As you can see now, Roy is, uh, <laughs> Roy is very hostile. Very hostile. With an army so weak, it's a surprise your empire hasn't come to a barbarian invasion. <laughs> Roy laying the smack. And Robin also hating, uh... Robin and Micaiah also hating Roy. The leaders in this, this game are very chatty, I gotta say. Very chatty indeed. Alright, we can trade with Castle Rene, that's great. 
Anyway, let's go and shoot down these barbarians before they cause more trouble. Uh, and I think what we want right here is... We just built an armory, I believe, so let's grab a Galias. Again, we want a navy. Now, in this city, I want to build a wall, because I think that Roy might target it with ships. If I go to war with him, which I very much plan to do. <laughs> I'm no poet, friend, so just hear me out. I seek worthy allies, and you are more than worthy to be one of them. What say you? <laughs> sure. So once we get a couple of uh, ships out, which we will get pretty soon... Look at this, we can trade with uh, Altea, which is nice. We should probably... Once we get a Caravansary up, though, we should probably wait. Because we're going to get the Caravansary in two turns. And that's going to be very useful. Now, I hope this trade route will go undisturbed, because we actually really need it. Let's go build a mine over here. Just thought I'd warn you that Ostia likely won't be around much longer, so enjoy your friendship while it lasts, maggot. <laughs> You seem like a pretty capable fighter. I'm looking for allies to take down the Kerr, Gangrel. What say you? You know, if only people would declare war on Roy. That'd be great. I'd fucking love that. But no, nobody wants to declare war on Roy. Alright, let's send this to burn, and let's keep trading. My brother and I, and our friend Leon, we once had grand ideas about the future. I think, with your help, we can make these grand ideas for a peaceful world a reality. Would you like to help me in this dream? What's going on with uh, Grotto? Oh my god! Renee informed me that you two are quite on friendly side. It seems we got quite the alliance for battle. Looks like uh, Gangrel's getting his ass kicked. Jesus Christ, these leaders are so chatty! These leaders are so fucking chatty! Holy shit, they talk all the time! <laughs> And Marth. So it looks like um, it looks like uh, Plague is getting its ass kicked. Someone is attacking them. Grotto Keep has been reclaimed, and uh, Melior is looking strong. Narshan is also expanding pretty uh, heavily. So our spy got killed by Roy. That really sucks. I think we should probably spy on Roy still, though. So where is uh, where is uh, Farah? Farah, Farah, Farah. Hello, Farah, are you here? Let's see, where the fuck is Farah? There we go. Send the spy. We're not at war yet, but we will be very soon. Okay, so I think we will probably go for navigation next, or now we're gonna go for physics. We might need a trebuchet or two. So we have our cargo ship up. We will not trade with Roy, obviously. But we Port Rigwald might be a good trade location. So let's do that. Same here. We can trade with Kaelin. That's Hector City. So that's good. So we're getting a lot of gold right now, which is good. Erica wants to... Oh, that's the open border deal. I'm pretty sure these guys will declare war on Gangrel on their own. So it's not going to be a big deal. I might actually accept open borders with Marth, to be fair, because that will allow me to move through his territory when I declare war. You know what, Marth? If you want, uh, if you want open borders so badly, it's actually fine. Here, have it. It doesn't really affect me all that much anyway. Anyway, now we can trade with uh, Altea. Can we not trade with his capital? Palus. That's actually a worse trade route. Okay. Fine. Let's just trade normally then. Alright, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to get a harbor in Tara so we can uh, link the two cities via sea. Meanwhile, I'm just going to build a bunch of Kaliasses and a Caraval. And uh, we're just going to be... Oh my god. I suppose I told <laughs> told you that you're a maggot enough. Time to tell the rest of the world. <laughs> oh, Ephraim has become a nuisance. Now Robin wants to declare war on Ephraim. Alright, we got our first Galias. I think that it's probably for the best if we... I think Roy has somewhat of a navy, so we're gonna go with bonus versus naval units. I want sentry on one of these guys to get some extra vision. I think that's going to help us out a lot. Aside from that, I think I'll just go with bonus versus naval units. Uh, now, I think there is a way to... Ooh. I do not want this declaration of friendship with Leon, actually. First of all, he's very weak. Second of all, I don't want to piss off Narshan. I know Narshan doesn't like Leon, because he wanted to declare war on him, so I'm actually gonna say no to this. I don't think a declaration of friendship with Leon will help me all that much anyway. Anyway, naval units, and... Do we want movement? That might be useful. No, we're gonna go with targeting too. Alright, 
So, is that a... Yeah, that's actually a trade route from Roy. We're gonna be uh, killing a couple of those. Research agreement with Erika? Sure, sounds good. Although I should really conserve my, uh, my money at this point, because I'm gonna be needing it very, very soon. I do have a lot of iron to sell, though. But I'm not sure if it's a good idea. Because I got three galleasses right now. I think, like, a couple more plus a caraval, and I think I'm pretty good. Uh, I should probably go with gunpowder next. Recruits also discovered that Roy is constructing him Magic Castle. Roy is secretly plotting against Gangrel. Uh, and Lysian Army is currently marching against another civilization. Okay, that's a good, good, it's a good source of intel right there. We're going to share intrigue with him. Uh, that gives us a slight boost with Gangrel. Erica wants to buy our iron again. I think we're actually going to say yes to this. We don't need all our iron right now, and uh, that is very helpful indeed. I don't need open borders with Robin, though. I think we're starting to have a decent... decent-sized navy. So, Galeasses are pretty good. They got 17 combat strength. Looks like we're up in Ilya this time around. That's good. So, once we got... Uh, sizable. Ooh, I decided to make an alliance with Elise. Okay. I can only hope that they are worthy of me. Narshan! If only I could make Narshan declare war with me against Roy. Or towards Roy. That would be so fucking sweet. Maybe I should work on our road. I mean, it would... It doesn't really matter for my Vyverns, but my land units will certainly appreciate it. Alright, might as well build a shrine in the city, and then I think a market, because I fear that gold might be an issue at some point. We just lost the trade route for whatever reason. I don't know why, but it bothers me that we did. Now, we aren't trading with uh, Roy any longer. Declaration of Friendship with Micaiah sounds good to me. And that is a great engineer that we just got, interestingly enough. Do we have any uh, wonders that we haven't built yet? We can... Um, Probably send it over to burn. There's a Dane Galleas that we can't go past, sadly. Alright, I think it's time to move our ships into action. But not too close. We don't wanna we wanna tick off Roy, do we? But we got four Galleasses, that should be plenty enough for me. <laughs> I've also become good friends with Burn. I'm glad to find others who enjoy their company. Good to see that Ephraim is enjoying the company of Narshan. Alright, I think it's probably time to declare war right now. Yes, I think it is definitely time to declare war. The puny one makes an appearance. Fuck you, Roy. Now I destroyed your trade route as well. Are you sure you want to attack us right now? Well, it's your decision. Just don't regret it too soon. Alright. Roy, we're coming for you, bitch. Oh, I should have... Asked if uh, Marth wanted to... Uh, shall we declare war against Roy? Sorry, but no. Perhaps another time. How about... Uh, how about you, Narshin? You want to join? I think not. I have no reason to involve myself with your little bloody skirmishes. What if my glorious hair gets ruined? Surely you realize that, that that is a stake none of us may be willing to risk. Okay. Just be that way. Alright, so we're going to move in Gale. There's pikemen here, and they are good against the Vyverns, sadly. So I think we just want to move in. I don't think we want to attack just yet. We can probably attack them with our galleasses, I think. Alright, let's move in with the pikemen. There we go, they got crossbowmen on the whole shablam. Maybe I should have gone with strength versus land units now that I think about it. Oh, right. Let's turn off quick movement. So we got Gale right here, and he's demoralizing the nearby opponents, which is kind of good. But Royce got a large army. Not sure how well we're going to be equipped to deal with this shit. Meanwhile, let's just continue to explore around here. Hopefully, some once I start to weaken Royce army a little bit, other leaders will start to join me as well. That might happen. We're building a caravel. That's going to be good. Caravels can take cities. 
Now, I do fear a little bit for this Vyvern Lord right here. It's gonna take a lot of fire. I might lose it entirely. Sure, I can do open borders with Narshan. I really want to get on Narshan's good side, because he's, like, right next to Roy. If you were to attack Roy, that would be so good. Okay, looks like Roy's pulling back. Probably a good idea, considering all the Vyvern Lords headed in his general direction. Trade route plundered? No! Okay, who's plundering it? Roy plundered the trade route you have established between Burnt and Castle Rene. Fuck you, Roy. Asshole. Alright, I'm gonna go get him. Against naval units. And uh, let's grab uh, some movement on this guy, probably. That would be nice. Alright. I'm sending my caravels to, to investigate, because I need to get those trade rods up fast. I can, luckily though, I can build a cargo ship almost every turn. Seven turns in this city, not as great. We probably want to forge here. Alright, we got an... I just knocked over something, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> Promise, it's not a fidget spinner this time around. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm gonna send my caravels to investigate, because I think there's a couple ships around here who are really fucking me over. Luckily, though, Roy embarked with his pikemen. That's a big mistake on his part. Anyway, let's start to siege some of these crossbowmen. We can shoot, and then I think we can move back. No, we cannot. Oh, wow, really? Oh, no. They cannot fly over water. They're just like uh, battle helicopters. So we want Gale to be centralized right here, because as you can see, he demoralizes the enemy. Which really increases the damage that they take. Also, we can do some nice damage against the Trebs. But we don't want to be flying into the Trebs. So these Vyverns got amazing mobility, but it's kind of lost on them right now. We can pillage the Slumber Mill, though. Uh, whose city is this? Oh, it's Alinsha. She's settled all the way up into Ilya? That's kind of impressive, actually. I did not expect her to do that. Oh, cool. Let's go and uh, pillage uh, the trade route, if we can get it. That would be a very nice boon. Okay, so the Great Engineer is coming this way, which is good. If we can take Laos, that would definitely help us out a lot. Let's see what uh, they decide to do. They might decide to go for our Galeasses. We got four ships, though. That's pretty good. Yeah, they're bombarding our Galeasses. Uh, Troy's got a... Troy, actually. Roy's got a Lucian Trebuchet. Alright, so we need to go and investigate who's disrupting our trade routes, because this is really fucking us over. These caravels should be able to get there quickly enough. So I am going to have to hold off these cargo ships until I can uh, until I can figure out who's doing this. Because it's really fucking me over. Alright, so as long as I focus on the crossbowmen, I think I should be fine. Because they're really the only ones who can do any substantial damage to me. There we go. And we can probably... If we can move Gale up here. To help out in this conflict as well. If you're smart, you move your great general around so that it is always always around for the conflicts that it's needed. So as you can see here, the flanking bonus is amazing. Now these uh, Vyverns do have shock, so they're better in open terrain, which is which helps us out quite a lot. Uh, I think there's a mine here that we can pillage. Yeah, for sure. We have to rely on pillaging to keep ourselves healed. Pillaging and flanking, for the most part, is what we need to do. We also got some pikemen who can join the fights. That's pretty good. Pikemen are going to be good. I don't see any paladins out of Roy, Roy, so he doesn't have them yet. That's weird, actually, because he has musketmen, so I'm very surprised to not see any paladins in this game. I mean, they'd be pretty good here, too, because they're good on open ground, so... Also, I really need to get a caravan or two for Roy. If I can get a caravan, then that's going to be great for me. Ooh, that hurts. Caravans would be amazing, because I'm really struggling with gold right now. Anyway, we gotta find these fucking ships. There's an Ostian uh, ship right here. Where are your ships, Roy? What are you doing? Alright. Am I confident enough to send this guy to Castle Rene now? I think I'm gonna have to. I don't think I have a fucking choice. Anyway, I'm gonna work on that road. And uh, as far as the next text goes, I think we want navigation, to be fair. 
Although, chemistry would give us more production from quarries and mines. I think that might be very useful. <laughs> Alright, let's flank this guy. Let's uh, move Gale in to give some combat bonuses to our Vyvern Lords. And boom, he is dead. He is dead and gone. Now there's some pill... We could have focused a lot of our attention on Baton, which would be kind of good. There might be some tiles for us to pillage over here. So let's just stay uh, stay focused. This guy should probably go back and heal. And this pikeman can go in here and get ready to take Laos. Because we are about to uh, siege Laos pretty heavily right now. Which is good. Galeasses aren't great against cities. But, you know, they, they slowly bring them down. They got about the same combat strength as crossbowmen, give or take. Alright, Taras. What should we grab here in Taras? Uh, it's growing pretty slowly, but it honestly doesn't need to grow faster. I think I'm just gonna grab a cargo ship in the city. Again, we need we gotta get those trade routes up. Is Marth moving to attack Roy? That would be a blessing to have Marth help me out here. I'd fucking love that. We could grab a manufacturer and burn. We have a, an empty hill tile here that we haven't improved yet. So, some extra hammers to the already high production of burn would really be great. It would help out the city a lot. Anyway, let's go and find these fucking ships who are plundering our trade routes. I'm gonna fucking murder them. Alinsha has declared war on Ephraim. Looks like Ephraim's the next uh, target for everyone's bullying. So, Roy actually pulled back pretty hard. He's pulling all the way back to Farah. Ooh, great general. Let's see if we can get it. There is a great general here. We nearly lost our ship. Holy shit. F fall back, my friend. Fall back. Fall back. Alright, so we got some crossbowmen right now. Let's move in our new Vyvern Lord. This pikeman it will pretty much just fortify up and chill in the background. We got some crossbowmen here that we aren't utilizing. And uh, we can trade with Kaelin. Fort Rigvald is over here. That seems like the safest trade route, if you ask me. Do we ha still have our work boats? Seems like we do. Alright, I'd say we probably should grab uh, the Ironworks just to get it, because that's so much production. And then once we got the Ironworks, the East India Company would be pretty insane too, actually. That gives us gold, and we need gold right now. I feel like we have a big enough navy. Looks like Roy is attacking with a small force. Good thing I built walls in the city. Alright. Where's the goddamn ships? Where's the goddamn ships? Let's look for those goddamn ships who are pillaging our trade routes. Alright, let's uh, keep working on this road over here. I mean, I might actually decide to keep Laos, because I'm going to get a free courthouse due to my civilization bonus. So, it's... Ooh, let, we could go and pillage this customs house. That would be a big blow to Roy. Ah, imagine the possibilities of a research agreement. The brightest scientist of your nation working with me, Narshan, the most brilliant mind I've ever seen. Narshan might just have the best dialogue in this game. Alright, my galleasses are taking some pretty nasty damage right now. Roy has a galleas himself uh, inside Laos. So, my ships are taking some pretty nasty damage. Um, but maybe I should just focus my attention on Laos. That might be the best course of... Oh, no, no, I don't want you to sleep. I want you to pillage. There we go. Aha! Aha! Lysian Galleas. I knew it. Alright, so I think uh, military tradition is what we want. If not, discipline, no. We definitely want military tradition. It's such a good uh, tenant. 50% extra experience is absolutely massive. There we go. Let's go and get that manufacturing. And let's heal up our ships. So now we can start sieging. And uh, I say we just surround the city completely. Oh, I want that great general. Ooh! Looks like Roy is really focusing his attention on uh, on Takas. I need to be careful. I might need some help, actually. I might need a lot of help. And I want to kill this great general. That would be massive. Taking down generals is always really, really good. Let's get Gale in to get some bonuses to these units. I'm pretty sure I might be able to take Klaus on the next day. I mean... I'm going to take a lot of damage taking the city down, but at the same time, 
I might be able to take it if I just focus everything I have on it. Oh. My Vibrant Lord was bombarded. Which Ah, oh, this one. Yeah, this one took a lot of damage. Holy shit, Roy is actually... Roy is actually doing a lot of damage. I think I might just have to get myself a castle. I think I might just have to get myself a castle. Because this ended up hurting quite a bit. Alright. Finally kill this thing. Uh, maybe I should just shoot down the musket men. To be fair, Roy doesn't actually have any melee ships, so he won't actually be able to take the city unless he manages to get something over there. Alright, so let's see if we're going to be able to take Laos. I think we might be able to. There's another dragon lord. Uh, there, well, there's certainly no paladins, that's for sure. There we go, we got it. So I think we will view the city and see. So do we get an aqueduct for free here? I don't remember, but I think we'll actually keep it. There's a workshop. It's a good city, actually. Let us uh, create a puppet. And uh, now we can use the friendly territory to heal up. We didn't pillage that many tiles either, so... We still get some luxuries from this, which is kind of nice. And let's send this crossbowman into action as well. So now we kind of have some friendly territory to continue attacking from. Ooh, we got Milady. Nice. Now we got two Vyvern generals. Not sure if Milady was ever a dragon lord, though, in the official story. I think maybe she became one after the war. But she was never one originally. I mean, originally there was just Gale, Narcian, uh, Murdoch, Brunia. Oh, wow. Roy really wants to take back a city. Yeah, Roy really wants to take back his city. Holy shit. He's like, that city is mine. Give it back. Okay, let's see if we can find some more of Roy's ships. There might be some scurrying about. If we could find that Galias, then there might be more around. Oh, look at that. Lysian Trireme. It's a Trireme battle, and one that we might lose, it would appear. Akanai has adopted the order ideology. Wow, Marth adopting ideologies. Anyway, let's grab this uh, manufacturing and lock it. That's going to be a massive increase in production across the board. Um, and yeah, we are working on this road. So yeah, looks like uh, looks like Roy's really pushing hard to take his uh, to take his city back. I don't think dragon generals can build citadels. No, they cannot. So, that is going to be quite tricky indeed. Oh, Jesus. Let's actually go back. So, in order for in order for your units to actually uh, embark, they still need to uh, they still need to go onto ships. You can't fly above water, sadly, for whatever reason. I guess it would just be too OP if that was the case. So, Vibrants are not very good on the defense. They don't get any defensive bonuses, sadly. So, you can't fortify with them either. No, you cannot. You can only heal. But my Dragon Generals will be able to intimidate the incoming attackers, so we can only hope that it's enough. My ships are starting to get healed up as well, so we'll see how well this attack goes. I might lose my Pikemen. Pikemen aren't particularly strong, but they might hold them back for a little bit. As you can see right here, they'll take 30 damage from these swordsmen, and the the tre yeah, there we go. I kind of figured they would fall, but then again, I only brought this pikeman up here because I was fearing where I had paladins, but I still get to see any paladins, so if he has them, he's not building them for whatever reason. Alright, let's just look for some more ships. We really need our trade rods to remain strong. Um... I think we want a harbor here, actually. And I just want to kill this barbarian encampment right now before it causes any more trouble for me. Okay, so we got two crossbowmen. Let's uh, shoot down these musketmen. Boom, boom, down they go. And I say we just do hit and runs, really, until we can uh, <laughs> until we can figure out a better plan. Because we need to heal up before these Vyvern Knights are not going to be very good in combat when they're this injured. There we go. Milady can uh, stay within Laos. Holy shit, Roy is actually uh, 
pressuring the city pretty hard. I might need to send some ships over there to help them out. I think I might do that. One, if Roy stops attacking Laos for a moment, um, I might send. I'm because <laughs> if he brings like one melee ship over here, he could actually take Taras. Oh great! Now the maggots are breeding. Now I have to deal with both you and Burn. Perfect. Maggots are much more fun to crush together. Kangra loves his insults. I thought, he, I thought he was my friend for a moment there, but no, apparently not. Ah, that vermin Leon just makes me narsh and splitting mad. They dare to think I'm not good enough to rule. Hogwash, Leon doesn't even deserve those filthy rags upon their back. Ah, you, you ought to help me wipe out this cretin for daring to insult me, Narshan. Understood? Sorry, we have no interests. You disappoint me, I assure you. Disappointing Narshan is nothing more than a fool's mistake. I'm sorry, Narshan, but we just can't. Okay, so yeah, my ships are going to go and uh, help out Taras right now, because Roy is really pressuring the city pretty hard, and he seems to be pulling back from uh, Laos, so... Let's go and help them out. Let's go and help them out. We got four Galeasses. That should be enough to repel this attack. And we are shooting them down, so this is really good. Uh, I don't see any more of Roy's ships around here, so that means our trade route should be left in peace for the most part. Arts funding. I'm not really keen on that. That comes from Art, but I don't want to vote against him either. So I am just gonna vote... Uh, I think if I vote for him, I get a diplomatic bonus, but I don't really care, because I'm planning on attacking Marth anyway. So I, I guess Arts funding is gonna go through. It kind of depends on how many Arts leaders there are in this game. I haven't checked the stats of the different leaders. I don't know if there's many, like, Arts spammers. There might be. Anyway, let's kill these guys and move back. Let's move Gale in to uh, help uh, intimidate the Spearmen. And we are just going to be healing up with all these Wyverns. And, oh, there's that's a Galias, isn't it? Yeah, we gotta, we got to run away from the Galias or else we're going to get shot down, sadly. But yeah, we got Laos. That's good. It's a good city. We might keep Ostia and Farah as well, actually. The free courthouse is great. Uh... That really, like... Oh, do we need the tech for it, though? This looks like we might need the tech for it. Because I think the courthouse is... Uh, no. Oh, he wants peace. That's always a good thing. What are the tech for the courthouse? I can never remember. Is it... Let's see. Let's search it up in the wiki. Courthouse. Courthouse. It requires mathematics. Which is, uh, right here? Oh, we should have it already, actually, shouldn't we? Mathematics. Where the fuck is my... Oh, there we go. Yeah, we have a courthouse, so why didn't we get a... Oh, do we actually need to annex it to get the courthouse? That might be the case. Let's try it. Uh, we annexed it, and that gives us not the courthouse. Okay, so I'm not getting my bonus then. That... Kinda sucks. I'm gonna be completely honest. Oh, maybe the city needs to get out of resistance first. That might be the case. Anyway, let's uh, propose another uh, thing. So, what can we propose? I might like natural heritage sites, because that's gonna give King Solomon's Mines plus five culture. Yeah, I think so. And that's not gonna piss off anyone either. Look at all the people who are just gonna get angry if we pr uh, propose cultural heritage sites. Crimea, Rene, Plague, and Dane do not, does not like that, but Rene and Akanaya likes it. But yeah, I'm gonna propose this one. It might actually go true. Anyway, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to make a cut here and continue in the next part. Uh, the war against Roy is far from over. Uh, he's pretty tough, but I think we will eventually be able to march on Farah. But the Viver Knights are kind of out of their element right now. They'll be much, they'll be much better against Marth for sure. Look at all the rough terrain around here. They'll have a lot of fun, like flying over the jungle tiles and such. And I'll really be able to maneuver them. Though I think that maybe getting plus one mobility on the Viver Lords might be really good. So I might go for that. Anyway, do give this episode a like and a comment if you enjoyed it. It helps out the channel a lot. As always, my name is Vin Manx, and I have a lot of faith. I shall see you guys next time. Goodbye.